it's an experience unlike any other. Anyone and art that can appreciate art, well, it's right here in Nashville. The first art museum is open for the holiday season and it's a great way to pass on the time when family is in town. Plus, we hear that their gift shop is pretty great too. We are joined now by Dr. Seth. Okay, you are located in Nashville's stunning former main post office building. Talk about the Frist Art Museum experience. You know, it's the most amazing place. The last thing I remember before I moved from Nashville was that it was a post office and I just come back and it's an art museum and it's an incredible experience. My favorite thing about seeing that space is the wonder that people experience when they walk in. Yeah. It's a 1934 building in an art deco style uh, and when you go into our main lobby it is covered from wall to wall in marble and sparkling lights and there's even plaster stars on the ceiling. It's an incredible experience and it really takes you back in time fills you with a sense of beauty and wonder, and it really prepares you to then go on into the galleries and experience the art that we've and got. And take it all in, exactly. Yeah. And you always have new exhibitions. What is on view right now? So we always have new exhibitions. They're always changing. And so if you come back in three months, you're going to see something totally new. Cool. Right now, we have three primary exhibitions. One of them is called Weaving Splendor, uh -huh. which is Asian textiles, so that silk uh -huh. and um, wool and um, textiles that you might find in costumes or wares from Asia. My favorite thing in that exhibition is a rug that is made, it was made in Iran, Persia, for a pope in the 1600s, and it's still just as bright as the day it was made. It's got these reds and browns and blues. It's gorgeous, and you can really see the details in it. We also have an exhibition on the artist Matthew Ritchie, and the, it's a hard exhibition to describe, but the way that I like to say it is, you know how you've got that friend who knows something about everything from science to underwater exploration to literature and everything? That's this artist, and he tries to bring it all together through painting. For this exhibition, he also added an element of a song that he recorded with the Fisk Jubilee Singers, and you can hear it throughout the exhibition. So it's a multimedia experience. There's a 10-channel video as part of the show, uh, and it's worth coming in and exploring. I really recommend bringing a kid, because a kid will see things that you might not be able to see on your own. They're not inhibited like adults are, and they'll see connections that yes, you might not perceive on your absolutely. own. Absolutely. What do you think art does for people? Oh, it totally changes the way that they perceive the world, and that's actually our mission. We really want people to come in, see art, and have that change their frame of reference. But what I really love about art is that it also creates community. Mm -hmm. And so my favorite thing to do at the First Art Museum is go to Martin Art Quest, which is a hands-on gallery. This is a space where you can sit down at seven or so different stations. You're looking at it right now. You can do live drawing. You can draw from a model. You can uh, uh, do some animation. You can make some prints you see there in the images. And my favorite thing about it is not only is it a great experience for the young ones, but it's a great experience to connect with people. You sit down at a table, you meet new people, you make new friends. So art really brings people together and creates a new sense of community. I love that. Okay, talk a little bit about your memberships. Yeah, so we've got a great membership program. It's one way of supporting the museum, but it's also a benefit for people who join it. Okay. Uh, there's various levels. You can go to our website, fristartmuseum.org, uh -huh. and see all the levels of membership. My favorite is that at a certain level of membership, you actually get access to thousands of other museums for free. Oh, so no if you kidding. become a member at the Frist, you can go to thousands of other museums throughout the United States and get in by just showing your badge, your, your membership card. And that's an amazing experience because if you go to a museum three times a year, four times a year, you've already made your money back and you also get to see wonderful things everywhere. Yes, and the, like you said, the exhibitions are changing out all the time, so you're always going to get something fresh and new. You also have a thing called Frist After Five Music. What else? That's right. There's always programs to enhance your experience. So okay. Frist After Five is we stay open until 8 o'clock on Thursday evenings. It becomes free for college age folks. Uh, it's always free for people under 18, 18 and under. Uh, and so you can come in and there'll be music, there'll be food, there'll be other things that you can do to sort of enhance the experience. But we also have programs. Okay. This Saturday, for example, you can go into our Asian textile show uh -huh. and see someone weaving in real time in the space so you really understand how the textiles are made. Uh -huh. There'll also be a musical performance at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's free for everyone. Uh, and it's a musician called No No Boy, and it's hard to describe again, but it's sort of folk music about his experience, about his family's experience with immigration, a really wonderful experience for everyone. How long does it take to make an Asian textile? 
it, make, it takes a long time, especially some of these objects were made in the 1600s or 1700s, so they were all made by hand. These aren't machine looms, mm. uh, and a lot of them have very delicate embroidery, silk thread that's stitched through, or it's hand tufted to make a velvet. So each one is unique. These were precious objects, and they were used for trade or for government operations yes. to, to share with one another. I love the history and the story behind all of these items that you have displayed um, at the First Art Museum. Why do you do this? I do it because it, it just fills me with excitement because we're able to bring people together. Yeah. We're able to share what we love with people and really change their lives in important ways. I think art is essential for how we live our lives and the first can bring it to people and have them bring it to one another. Absolutely. You said it very well. Thank you so much, Dr. Seth. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having me. It's a pleasure us. to join you. Well, guests 18 and under are always free. You can check out the exhibits and get tickets. The website is on your screen, fristartmuseum.org.